Hispania Romana. The conquest of the Iberian Peninsula by Rome lasted two centuries from 218 BC to 19 AD. The Romans gave the peninsula its name, Hispania, and carried out the conquest for three main reasons. Firstly, to have control of the Western Mediterranean, which they were competing for with Carthage. Secondly, to take advantage of the wealth that the mines generated, like gold and silver, and also to stock up on wine and oil. And lastly, with a geographical goal to conquer the whole of Europe, reaching the Cape of Finisterre, the end of land in Latin, which was the most western point of the known world at that time. The conquest starts with the landing of Publio and Cineo Escipion in Emporium, nowadays Empurius in Gerona, during the Second Punic War. On the side of the Carthaginians, Amilcar Barca, Asdrubal, and finally Hannibal succeeded each other as leader. Hannibal left Cartago Nova, nowadays Cartagena, crossed the Pyrenees and the Alps with his army, which included elephants, and arrived at the gates of Rome. After the Roman victory at the Battle of Elipa, near Alcalá del Rio in Sevilla, the Carthaginians were forced to abandon the peninsula, and finally, at the Battle of Thama in Africa, they were completely beaten by Publio Cornelio Escipion, the African. The Romans advanced their conquest through a military unit known as the Roman Legion, which fought not only on flat terrain, but also in the mountains were made up of 6,000 men and 300 riders, and each unit had their own name and number. Like, for example, the Legio 7th Gemina, originally from the city of Leon, whose name came from Legio. However, during their advance through the Iberian Peninsula, the Romans met fierce resistance from the tribes. In Dibel and Mandonio, 206 BC, Warlords from the Iberian tribes of the Ilegetes and Ausitanos fought in the Pyrenees and the Valley of the Ebro against the Romans, although eventually they were executed for repeated treason against Rome. In the southeast of the Iberian Peninsula, the Romans had to fight against the Portuguese warlord Viriato, who used guerrilla warfare for seven years to resist all the Roman armies sent to beat him. In the end, he reached a peace treaty with Rome, but he was assassinated by three of his lieutenants. The story goes that when these three went to collect their reward, the Roman consul, Scipion Emiliano, ordered them to be executed for treachery, saying, Rome does not reward traitors. Another example was the Celti Iberian resistance in the city of Numancia, on the outskirts of what is now Soria. In the year 133 BC, the general Scipion Emiliano laid siege to the city for 15 months with 60,000 soldiers against 2,500 Numancians. Faced with defeat, the majority of the people inside the city chose to commit suicide rather than become Roman slaves. The Sertorian Wars, which took place in Hispania between the years 82 BC and 72 BC, and pitted the Roman general Quintus Sertorius against Pompey the Great, also helped in the Romanization of the Iberian Peninsula, with Iberian tribes fighting on both sides. Julius Caesar's last battle was Munda, near Chayen, which he won, and he was then assassinated in Rome a few months later, leading to the period known as the Roman Empire. The presence of the Romans in the Iberian Peninsula lasted six centuries, from the 2nd century BC to the start of the 5th century AD, when the Visigoths arrived. The Romanization was founded on four main principles. The language. Latin replaced the indigenous languages, Iberian, Celt, it is estimated that approximately 70% of the words in the Spanish language come from Latin. Polytheistic religion, many gods, was replaced by Christianity, 
which became the official religion of the Roman Empire at the end of the 4th century with Emperor Theodosius. Roman law, which introduced laws and the concept of the state and also the organization of the land in Hispania, which in the time of Emperor Octavio Augusto, 27 BC, was divided in three provinces, Betica, Terraconense and Lusitania. Urban civilization, the Romans created an important network of roadways that joined cities up, such as Cadiz, Cartagena, Cordoba, León, Mérida, Sevilla and Zaragoza. All these cities have a similar pattern, made up of a main road called Cardo, north to south, and also the Gumeno, east to west. Both converge at the Forum, the heart of the city, where the government buildings, temples, baths and markets were to be found. Great feats of engineering and architecture were carried out, some of the most impressive being the Walls of Lugo, the Aqueduct at Segovia, the Alcantara Bridge and the Amphitheatre at Merida. Hispania was one of the most Romanized provinces of the empire. In the 3rd century AD, Roman citizenship was granted to all the free inhabitants of Hispania. A number of important figures in the history of Rome were born in Hispania. For example, the emperors Trajan, Hadrian and Theodosius, the philosopher Seneca, the poet Martial and the public speaker Quintiliano.